my fans, my guest at this time is the... Did he just get his ass kicked by a bunch of fucking munchkins? Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're gonna look at the WWF muscle figures. Now, this I found at my local Five and Below. I was really kind of surprised and kind of giddy like a little kid when I found them. I didn't know these existed. Uh, I was a huge fan of uh, the WWF back in the 80s. I loved uh, wrestling back then, and uh, I had a ton of the muscle figures, which are millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere. If you don't know what the muscle figures were, they were these little kind of orangey colored um, little wrestler type guys uh, that were just all over the place. They were like little mutants and goofy, weird doodle things come to plastic and they had like little wrestling matches and stuff like that uh, or wrestling uh, uh, rings that you could uh, fight and play with them in and I had a bunch of them, so did my friends. and. This is just like mirroring two great 80s wrestling things together, and I love it. Now, this is put out by Super 7, which apparently is a division of Mattel. I thought they were two different companies, but I'm guessing they're the same company. If you know, leave a comment down below. Uh, but yeah, these guys look awesome and fun. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the WWF wrestling muscles in the packaging, and uh, it looks pretty cool. They, they, they remind me of the toys from back in the day. From what I can remember, I can barely remember the actual uh, boxes they came in. I remember the logos, though, distinctly. And they had multiple figures in the boxes. I do recall that. I want to say they came three in a pack, but that just might be because I'm looking at these. Um, so this is the full set of figures that were released. And in uh, this set, we've got Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, the Junkyard Dog, and uh, the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, so yeah, definitely very cool. We get the little Macho Man up here, very neat. We get the muscle uh, logo right there. And then the uh, WWF, well, it's just WW because uh, the World Wildlife Federation sued them uh, back in the 90s, I think, uh, to make them change the name, which is why it's WWE today. Now, this package right here, this is the first one I saw and it kind of caught my attention. This actually has an Andre the Giant in it. I thought it was Hulk Hogan, but it's actually Macho Man here. And that kind of makes me sad that Hogan's no longer part of the Wrestle uh, stuff, uh, which is kind of crap, I think, but whatever. Uh, and then we also got a Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh, which is very cool. Definitely dig that. Um, and then uh, this one has got uh, the late, great uh, Mean Gene. He unfortunately has passed away this year. Uh, and then we got the Iron Sheik and uh, Ric Flair in there. Looking all types of cool. I definitely dig that. And then the last one here has got uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And then it's got, uh, let's see, who else? Oh, the Million Dollar Man and Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, so yeah, definitely very fun. Now the back of the packaging uh, is a little different for all of them uh, because they have their own little cartoon uh, peeps on them. So we'll just kind of spin them around here and take a look. Basically, it's got the muscle logo. It's got the little holographic uh, WWE logo, the Mattel logo down here, and the Super 7 logo. And then each little comic uh, character with their little quote-unquote saying. And then a little checklist on the box itself. So just kind of a close-up here on this one. I love the little hologram there. That looks really cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there's um, those two guys going at it. So two out of uh, the three get a say here. So we got Jake the Snake says, Never trust a snake. You want to you mess with the junkyard dog? You're going to bite the dust. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, and then it's got the checklist 
right there of all the figures which I have. And then it says also available is Alien, Aliens, Masters of the Universe, Mega Man, Street Fighter 2, and The Worst. Um, I don't know if they're in muscle form though, so that's kind of interesting. I know there's some uh, reaction figures of that stuff. Uh, and then uh, coming soon, Iron Maiden, Robotech. Uh, Super Shogun and Toxic Crusaders. So that's kind of cool. Uh, definitely neat. So yeah, I'm digging that. Um, and then our next one here has got um, the Andre the Giant and uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. And Macho Man says, Listen, Andre, expect the unexpected in the kingdom of the madness. And then Andre says, It's not my fault being the biggest and strongest. Yeah, so if you want to pause and read that, you can. So goofy, very goofy, but fun. And then, let's see, this one's got the Iron Sheik and Mean Gene, and it says, Mean Gene, look at our body, cameraman Zoom. Uh, he was always kind of a butthead, I remember, in wrestling. And then Mean Gene says, you said it, she Iron Sheik. Let's get back to ringside. So yeah, kind of goofy, but fun. Uh, <laughs> I like the cheesy stuff. And this has got uh, Sergeant Slaughter and Hacksaw. Sergeant says, uh, you're going down, maggot, and that's an order. Then Hacksaw says, me and my two before have something to say about that. Oh! Yeah. Very, very funny. Very cute. And, um, you know, it's just bringing back all the nostalgia for the 80s for me. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get these wrestlers out of box and see what we think. All right, and here we have all of the little wrestlers out of the packaging, and uh, they're very detailed. I will give them that. Uh, because they're muscle figures, they don't use any paint, so I guess you can put more of that money into the sculpting. Some of them look really good, and some of them not so good. Interestingly enough, uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage is the only one that has a belt on, which I kind of find a little funny. Um, Jake the Snake, his little snake is absolutely adorable. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of cute. And then uh, Andre is much bigger than the rest of them. Uh, he has a humongous head. Unfortunately, Mean Gene doesn't look all that great. I like how um, uh, a Rowdy Rowdy Piper's got his little kilt and hot rod uh, shirt on. That's pretty darn cool. Sergeant Slaughter actually looks very, very good sculpt-wise. Um, I think Hacksaw's face looks a little goofy. Uh, the worst one's probably the Iron Sheik here, I, I think. I don't know, either between him or... or I, I don't particularly care for the uh, um, Ultimate Warrior. He looks kind of weird. Um, and then the Junkyard Dog looks kind of funny, too. Um, I do like the Million Dollar Man. I think he's really good. Love his little money belt. And it's interesting because some of them, like uh, the Junkyard Dog here, has got a weird little... Um, let's see if I can get this uh, on camera here. There's like a seam where this arm was glued on there instead of it being one piece, which is kind of strange. Uh, I mean, most of them are just one piece of plastic that's molded. Um, the uh, Mean Gene is the same way, and I think think everybody else is one piece. Yeah, everybody else, oops, as I knock people around here, everybody else is just one piece of plastic. Uh, so it's kind of odd that those two aren't. But yeah, overall, I am digging this little set. So taking a closer look at Jake the Snake Roberts here, I, I like the sculpt, especially on the snake. I think the little dot on the eyeball on the snake is absolutely uh, adorable. Um, it pretty much looks like him. He's got his little uh, goatee beard thing going on and his curly hair. He's got his hands up like he don't care. Uh, the back of the figure is sculpted uh, pretty well. Uh, it's got all the stamps and stuff on the back, which I remember the old muscles did as well. But all the hair is back there and you can see the snake on the back of his shoulder uh, so you know overall I mean for being a tiny little pink piece of plastic yeah I, I think it pretty much looks like Jake the Snake Roberts and that works for me next up we've got Ric Flair and I've never really cared for this wrestler much um, I really barely remember him at all uh, but I do remember him in his uh, little robe which he does have on uh, he looks a lot like 
the uh, not Macho Man, but uh, Ultimate Warrior to me, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, but I mean, it's sculpted pretty decent. He's got his little robe goes down. The hair's sculpted kind of nice. Um, he's got the little belt around the robe, which is very, very cool. So, uh, again, I mean, it's a little piece of plastic. I don't think this is one of the better ones of the bunch. Uh, you know, I had to really sit and think, like, Ooh, who is this guy? Um, and then realize he had the robe on, and it's, oh, Ric Flair. Kind of looking like Jesus. Next up, we've got Sergeant Slaughter. He was one of my favorites uh, back in the day. He was kind of one of the bad guys, but he was also on G.I. Joe, which was awesome. I remember having the G.I. Joe toy, and uh, I also had a Refrigerator Perry toy uh, from G.I. Joe. But I think the sculpt on this guy looks pretty good. He's got his little hat and his glasses and his little uh, military belt with all the pouches and the jacket looking all kinds of good. He's pointing his little finger because he did that a lot in the wrestling uh, interviews, I remember, and uh, just very, very cool. I kind of almost wish this guy was like in a dark green, kind of like an army guy color, uh, because, well, I mean, he's, he's, he's Sergeant Slaughter, but uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my more favorite sculpts of the group. Next up, we have the Iron Sheik. Again, not a real fan favorite of mine. Uh, it's one of the weaker of the group. Uh, he does have his little a uh, little turban, or I don't even know what that little towel thing is called that's on his head. Uh, he was supposed to be some kind of um, Arabian type of character, and he was always a jackass. Uh, that He was one of the bad guys. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it just, he was okay. He was just kind of an insert bad guy character for me, but the sculpt on it's all right. I get the fact that it's the Iron Sheik. Um, it's just, I don't know, there's something about it that's a little weak compared to some of the other sculpts, and it's just kind of meh for me. Next up, we have Andre the Giant. Now, he was one of my favorites uh, back in the day. I really liked him a lot, and, uh, you know, looking at him makes me think of old Glenn Webb, uh, Resty Soul. He was a big uh, Andre the Giant fan as well, and uh, he's the guy that got me back into wrestling, and uh, I, I really <laughs> like this one. He's a little trim. I remember Andre having a bigger belly. Uh, he's got a ginormous head with the curly hair, and uh, he's got the, the weird little old school uh, unitard on uh, with the one stripe over the shoulder there, uh, which works well. Uh, but yeah, I like the fact that it made him bigger than the others because he's Andre the Giant. Next up is Rowdy Roddy Piper, another fan favorite of mine. He was always fun to come in and watch, and I loved him in, uh, what was it, They Live. Uh, great sci-fi show. It's a shame he's passed on, too. Uh, he's got the hot rod shirt on and the kilt, and he was just kind of a crazy guy. The face sculpt on this one's not very good, I don't think, uh, but the hot rod and, uh, shirt and the kilt definitely uh, gets it. Uh, now I see the hot rod shirt it makes me think of uh, that MMA fighter uh, that turned a wrestler. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the deal is with that. But, uh, yeah, Row Rowdy Ronda, isn't that what they call her now? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this one's pretty fun. I wish the face sculpt was a little bit better, but I definitely love the hot rod shirt. Next up is the Junkyard Dog. Uh, again, this one was kind of, uh, he was okay uh, back in the day. It wasn't my favorite, but he was interesting. Uh, the sculpt on this one's also not all that great. And the only reason I knew it was the Junkyard Dog was because he had the chain on him. Um, now, I will say this one stands probably the worst out of all of them. He topples over pretty easy. And I'm not sure why. Uh, I don't know if it's the feet or the fact that the uh, figure's a little top-heavy or something. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's just all around one of the weakest figures in the bunch, which is a bit of a shame because he was always kind of a, a, a goofy character, but he wasn't a fan favorite. So, eh, I'm okay with it. Next up, we've got the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. He's the only one with a belt, which I find very, very interesting. He's got his do-rag and his sunglasses. Uh, it's an okay figure, but from a distance, it really looks like Hulk Hogan. I think they could have re-sculpted this into Hulk Hogan pretty easy. And unfortunately, they've wiped him out of the wrestling uh, fandom. Uh, and this, this, is, this is who we get now. We get uh, Macho Man, which is not bad. I always liked Macho Man. I always thought he was fun and eccentric. And again, unfortunately, he's another legend that has uh, passed on. 
so at least we get him in this little uh, cute plastic form. Uh, but he's definitely one of my more favorites out of this little bunch. Next up is uh, the Hacksaw Jim Duggan figure, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's pretty okay, I guess. I don't like the head sculpt on him. Um, obviously, it's Hacksaw because he's got his uh, two before there, and he's got his kind of big, full little beard thing going on. Um, I do like the detail in the two before. I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of broken up on the ends, uh, which is nice, and it's got all the wood grain in it. Um, very cool and all the hair sculpt and that kind of stuff. He was always a, a favorite of mine when he would come out with the two before and be like, Ho! And yeah, just, you know, big old hillbilly with a, a two before. It was just kind of fun and gimmicky and that's what 80s wrestling was all about. Next up is the Ultimate Warrior! And this was another fan favorite of mine. He was kind of crazy and hyper. And he always had the strings hanging off of his arms like he does here. And he always had the masks uh, painted on his face. And he was just kind of the wild and crazy wrestler, uh, which was fun. He was kind of one of the newer ones when I was younger. Um, and uh, unfortunately, he, he's another one that has passed away, which is, which is very, very sad. But uh, yeah. This one, it, it's okay looking, but there's something about it. I'm, it's not coming out to me. I don't think the mask on his face is, uh, you know, pronounced enough. Um, it's there, but I, I don't know. I, I, I get it's the Ultimate Warrior with the little uh, strings hanging off, but I wish the mask was a little stronger. Next up is the Million Dollar Man, and I really like this one. Uh, Million Dollar Man was always one of my favorites uh, back in the day. He was one of my favorite bad guys. He had the Million Dollar Belt, which I think is still floating around in the WWE. He's got his little stack of money there and his suit. Um, this one's pretty good. I like all the detail on it, all the little dollar bills on the belt and how the belt sculpted all the way to the back. I think the money in his hand um, could have been done a little bit better, um, a little more pronounced, and maybe some dollar signs on the stack of bills. Uh, but, uh, man, that's kind of a minor gripe. Other than that, I mean, it looks pretty good. And, uh, I mean, you can't deny the million-dollar belt. And finally, taking a look at Mean Gene Okerman himself. Um, which I've, uh, you know, put an, in memory of in front of this uh, video. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. The, the head sculpt does not quite right to me for some reason. And I wish it had the, the WWE or WWF logo uh, in the microphone. That would have been kind of cool. But the fact that he's got his microphone and the fact that they included him uh, in this set is really, really cool. Um, he's got his hand behind his back. I'm not really sure why. I don't really remember him doing that much. Uh, but he was a staple in wrestling through in the 80s through the 90s. Um, it's a shame that we lost him, and uh, yeah, um, I, it's kind of fun to see him in plastic. This is actually my second figure of him. I've got a wrestling figure I need to review of him as well, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, even the announcers were fun back in the day. For comparison, here we have the Marvel Legends Spider-Ham and the BB... 9E from The Last Jedi and the Deadpool 2 uh, Deadpool Desk Buddy. And as you can see, these guys are all pretty small. Um, they're about half the size of Spider Ham there and uh, a little bit bigger than the three and three quarter inch Star Wars droid there and really bigger than Deadpool down there. Uh, so that's kind of funny. But these are definitely the size of the muscle figures from back in the day. In fact, I think they might be a little bit bigger. I remember the muscles being a little bit smaller. Some of them, some of them but they're are very definitely big. going to be fun sitting up on the shelf. So are the WWF 80s classic wrestlers muscle figures something that you want in your toy collection? Well, if you're a classic 80s wrestler fan, I think you're going to like this. If uh, you are a fan of the old muscle toys from back in the 80s, I think you're going to like this set. Um, if you like both, this is a great thing to pick up. You know, I got them for $3 at the 5 and below, so I'm guessing they were probably around 5 or 6 bucks. Uh, when they hit the major retails. 
I've never seen them before, so it was kind of fun and exciting to see them when I walked into the Five and Below, and I'm glad I did, and I'm glad I was able to find all of them. Uh, they're definitely going to look very cool up on the shelf, and if you just want that nostalgia itch from the 80s, this is definitely going to scratch it. So there they are, the 80s WWF Classic Wrestlers from Muscle. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.